Good morning, Earthlings. One day I was in a gallery and a woman came in and said, I don't do artwork anymore because when I was a child, I did a picture. My father didn't like it. He tore it up and threw it away. I haven't drawn since. And I said, well, that's really sad. It made me cry. I'm crying still. So this little bit about me and Petra is for that lady that came to the gallery. And it's for all the rest of you that said, I can't draw because somebody didn't like my picture. <laughs> Watch this. I'm here with Petra. Hi, Petra. Hi. Ah, and I'm going to ask Petra to look at the tree in front of us. You know, I'm looking through this footage of me teaching Petra how to paint. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that the way that Petra paints in her childlike way is something that you don't always get. Once you learn how to paint the proper way, you can't really go back to that child way. And so instead of teaching her how to paint, I'm going to just teach her how to explore the colors um, and be there next to her. So Petra, when you see that tree, when you look at that tree there, what do you see? He's he a beautiful tree. What colors do you see? The wood is brown and the leaves are green. Do you see the white? I do. Who is some white in the wood? And yet, you know, I bet if I taught her how to do like the Moan art, she'd be able to pick it up and draw things perfectly. Um, but there's only one time in her life that she's going to draw a cat that looks like that, or a heart that looks like that with glitter on it. I mean, do I draw a heart like that with glitter on it? Mm -hmm. So think about where the sun is. Okay, can you point to the tree the way the sun is pointing to it? It's like that, kind of. It's right there. Right? Yeah. Okay, so then when you look at what the way the sun is hitting it, can you see, can you see a shadow? And I've always, I don't know, just thought that Petra would be an artist. She just has that kind of feel to her and, and that kind of demeanor in her head. So I want to encourage that. But at the same time, this childlike, these childlike pictures that she comes up with, um, she'll never be able to do that again. That's just an innocence that you never have again. So I don't really want to teach her anything at all. What part of the what part of the tree is a shadow on? The least two who oh. parts on that part oh. and those parts. So and some of the leaves leaves are shadows too. Okay. So do you think you could paint that now that we looked at it? My whole point right now is that simplistic childhood paint paint thing that she's doing. I want to encourage that. Um, I don't want to teach her how to paint like a grown-up because she's not a grown-up. She's a child and her paintings are going to be child paintings. And I want to explore that and I want to um, encourage that. If we paint it outside, then we can probably get the door left a bit. That'd probably be better, wouldn't it? Then I could look at it and, and do it the painting and look at it again. And you know, I think I might be able to just say one thing here. Um, a lot of you quit doing art because somebody said your art wasn't good. Um, let's go back to where Petra is and just look at a tree and paint the tree just like Petra is. If you're broken like that, we have to go back to the beginning. Learn how to do it in a child's way. Make a big heart for your mom with glitter on it. You know, art is supposed to heal us. That's fantastic. Is it starting to look like a tree? Actually, it looks amazing. Is it 
Is it looking like a tree? It sort of is, isn't it? <laughs> Shadows. No, that's good. Is that too much paint on? And the shadows were just on the one side, weren't they? How would you paint the shadow on just one side like that? See, you know, somebody said once that if a baby doesn't learn how to crawl, their development is all messed up. And even as an adult, they have to go back and learn how to crawl. Well, maybe your development's been messed up. I'm sorry that happened. Let's go back and learn how to crawl. Um, watch Petra paint. Paint a picture like Petra. Put it on your refrigerator. I don't know. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Bruna's not painting today. She's looking at bugs. And what happens when you mix the two colors on your paper? That uh, turns into a nice, nice green. Mm -hmm. If you put a little bit of yellow in there, this yellow, it's a tiny bit of that color. Look like, like a tree. <laughs> yes, it does. See? <laughs> do they look like leaves? They do look like leaves. Those do. <sighs> Let's not get into really anything really heavy until you've gone through the first stage of healing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's a very fine tree. Nice tree, Petra. Yeah. Thank but, you. But what are you painting now? What is this now? A heart for mom. Is a heart for your mom? To, to make sure she knows I love her. Oh, make sure. We put some, we put some glitter on it. Well, that was fun. Thanks for painting with me, Petra. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Then you can just pray. Say, God, you created me, and you want me to be healed in every way. And if you can use my artwork to heal me, then I would ask you to go ahead and do that. Father God, we know you created us in your image, and you love us, and we thank you, and help us to heal through our art. Help us to come to you like a child. Goodbye, Earthlings. Oh, I have a nurse.